Hello, everybody. It is David Clausen, and let me make this uh, white a little better here, and then it's not so bad. Um, we will start here in just a minute. My name is David Clausen with English dash quickly dot com and each week I uh, make a video about the best things in the world a lot of it is the United States um, to learn English from you know like some of the best movies music we take a look at books even some fun infographics, traveling from Wiki Travel, uh, word of the day and stuff. I got a noise in my ear, so I'm going to turn this down. I will turn that down. And um, so just fun ways to learn English that can help us uh, learn some vocabulary and sentences. And like I said, I do this once a week. Uh, I'll be sharing my screen here in just a minute that we can then take a look at some words and pictures and things for, uh, for our program. So let me do that now. I'm going to share my screen. So I'll click that and click Share, Present to Everyone. And I'm going to go over, let me tell you first where I'm from. Let me back out of here. So uh, I'm broadcasting from the United States. Here's a city called Denver in the state of Colorado. I'm in uh, Golden, Colorado, just outside of Denver. And the weather is pretty good here. We're waiting for snow so I can take my kids skiing. Now, during this program, I like to um, offer Skype. So uh, this is my login information, eclawson underscore two. So if, uh, let me make that a little bit bigger. You have a question during the broadcast. You can uh, call me during that. Um, looks like somebody uh, broadcasted. So, or um, asked for a contact. So I said yes, and that way, if you have questions during the broadcast, I can answer that. I'm going to double check, make sure everything is going well here. My uh, Check my audio. Make sure that's okay. Right now it is uh, December 21st. It's December 21st, you can see here. And so we call that the summer solstice. So it's the first day of winter in the north. So we have winter here. And on this Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday is Christmas Eve. And then we have Christmas on the 25th. So I'll have a little um, special about that, uh, the Strasbourg Christmas Market, that I will talk about, that we can learn about. And I just want to check to make sure Everything is okay, and uh, if you have questions, just type it in, or you can uh, call me on Skype. So once again, my Skype number or username is dclawson underscore two, dclawson underscore two. So let's start off with movies. Uh, the number one movie this week it's been the number one for the last couple of weeks is The Hunger Games. And I talked about that a couple of weeks ago. 
The number two movie I did last week is The Penguins of Madagascar. So these are penguins. So let's uh, have fun with the number three movie. It's called Horrible Bosses. Horrible Bosses. And if you're not sure what a boss is, a boss is the person you work for. <laughs> and horrible is something bad. So a boss is a person in charge of a worker or organization. The head, the chief, the director, president, principal, the chair, or a manager. So that is the boss. And horrible is something very bad. Now, this is uh, Horrible Bosses Part 2. There was a first part that came out in 2011, was the first, and it's a comedy. Okay, so it's the genre of a comedy. And in, a f in the first one, they, um, you know, they are friends... You know, this Bateman and Day are friends who despise their bosses. And to despise is to not like. You don't like them at all. So if we put a definition to despise, it's a, it's a like hate. You know, um, feel contempt or deep repugnance. So detest, hate, loathe, abhor, extract, uh, deplore, dislike. So he despised himself for being selfish. So uh, they despise their bosses. And now in part two, those same guys um, are going to start their own business after tiring of working for ungrateful bosses. So they're tired of the bosses and they start their own business. And, you know, they start it and they have some things that they do. So uh, they kind of fight over the manufacturing, the making of something. So one wants to outsource to China and the other wants to invest, uh, you know, in the United States. But then they have problems and Bert backs out of their deal, deal at the last minute. So to back out of a deal means that you stop. You don't do it. And... So they have, you know, a fight over this. And in business, they have a 500000 debt and an outstanding loan. So a loan, if you're not sure, if you have a loan, you got money from a bank or something. So for a loan definition is, you know, when you get credit or advance, a thing that is borrowed, especially a sum of money. Borrowers can take out a loan of 84000 So they have this loan going, and of course, then there's fighting, and it's all part of the comedy. You know, like I said, it's a black comedy or a, a comedy-type film. The budget, or what it was made for, is $42 million, and, you know, they've already made $78.5 million. So that's a pretty good deal for the number three movie in the United States right now called Horrible Bosses 2. And if you want to uh, check it out, I will put this link and all of the links below the video so you can check it out. So let me hit edit and that way if you want to... Uh, Check it out yourself. You can. Let that gives us. Uh, let's move on to music. The Hot 100, and we've talked about this. The number one blank space. Take me to church. We've done. Uptown funk. Lips are moving. 
And now the number five song of the week we can learn some English from called I'm Not the Only One. I'm Not the Only One. And I'll play just a little bit to give you an idea. And I skip around a bit because Google knows if I'm playing this song and I'm not supposed to, I guess. So you and me, we made a vow for better or for worse. So a vow is a promise. So you made a promise. Basically, they're married. So here are the lyrics. Uh, you and me, we made a vow for better or for worse. I can't believe you let me down. So his wife, um, he's not happy with her. But the proof's in the way it hurts. So, you know, it's a painful marriage. For months on end, I've had my doubts denying every tear so he's been crying i wish this would be over now but i know that i still need you here so he still loves her you say i'm crazy because you don't think i know what you've done but when you call me baby i know i'm not the only one so he knows that she's seeing another man so, you know, it's kind of a hurtful song with jealousy. I'm not the only one. I'll just skip around and play a little bit. So, but when you call me, baby, I know I'm not the only one. So there's others that are in there and that hurts for the man so i'm gonna put that link in there you can check out the lyrics yourself if you want to learn some english so you can just after this movie um is saved you can click on the links and check out the uh the the song yourself so it's a good way to uh learn some english and moving along with that the New York Times comes out with the best sellers every week, the best selling books. And the number one book this week is All the Light We Cannot See. All the Light We Cannot See. And this book, you can see right here by Anthony Dewar, All the Light We Cannot See. It's based around World War II. And just to make sure, you know, World War II, let me type that in. So World War II was, you know, in Europe and Japan, where the United States and Britain and many, many countries fought in World War II. So it was a very bad war with um, Hitler and about 58 million people died. So it was a very terrible time. And this book deals with a blind French girl. So if you're blind, you cannot see. And a German boy whose paths collide. So to collide... So if we have to collide, it's it's like a collision. It means you hit heads together. So this these cars collided. It was a collision. These planets collided to collide, to run into each other. In this case, their lives came together. They collided in France. And, uh, 
you know, very interesting in a town called St. Malo, St. Malo. So let me put that into Google Maps. I'll type in St. Malo, France, and that's the setting or where the, um, the book takes place. So let's take a look at some pictures to give you an idea. You know, this is St. Malo, the setting of the book that you can check out. Maybe you can see it right here. The pictures take a little time to come up. So it looks like a beautiful coastal city. And if we look on the map, we can see that here is Paris in the country of France. And this is the setting of the book where the book takes place called St. Malo, France, St. Malo, France during World War II. So I, I'm sure there's a, uh, some sadness in there with the the two the german boy and the blind french girl the blind french girl and i will put this link in there so you can learn some english and check it out as well from the number one book and if you want to check out some more bestsellers i'll put that in there as well i'll copy that link and paste it over for you so just you know, kind of a cool way to learn some English. And that takes us to travel um, with Christmas. I found a Christmas market, um, a special article. I'll make that red here. A special article about a real life winter wonderland tucked. Oops, let me go back here. Let me exit out of that. <laughs> we'll go back. Tucked away. So it's away in Strasbourg, France. So we're going to stay in France. And I'm going to just type in Strasbourg. Click that in. And let's take a look at some pictures. I've heard it before. Look at that. Look at that beautiful building, historical building. With a nice bridge there. Strasbourg, or Strasbourg, France. And a nice little photo of the night. Um, uh, that picture is kind of hard to see. Another nice little building. So you can see it's very historical. Let me zoom out a little bit. So here's Paris, and over here is Strasbourg. Give you a better idea. So that's kind of in the way. So it's here's France. <laughs> Everything's kind of jammed in here. So it's right over here, and here's Germany. So it's right on the border with Germany and France. And let's take a look at some of these. Strasbourg Christmas Market, you know, with Christmas and stuff. You know, look at the beautiful sign there. So let's take a look. Warm treats. So treats are fun things to eat and pastries. Pastries are bread, breaded foods, beautifully lit ice rings, pine trees. So we have these beautiful, real pine trees <laughs> decorated with ornaments. So to decorate is to make the tree look beautiful. And a chance to wear your favorite scarf or sweater. So let me um, uh, let me delete some of that stuff here. And they have several markets. You know, all of these are different markets that you can go to. And you can check out, look at the beautiful Christmas tree here. A little tram over there. The ornaments at the market. These are ornaments, things to make the tree look better. Ornaments at the market. 
And there are some pictures of it. Look at the pretzel and pretzel stand. Croquet Monsieur, a little French. Dipped apple. So these are apples that are dipped into chocolate. A flambe. A crepe. Ooh, crepes are very good. And a gingerbread man. Cool little gingerbread man. And all these fun foods to eat that you can check out. Um, I'll put in some more pictures. You can take a look at Strausborg Christmas Market. You know, look at that beautiful scene right there, the little winter time there. And look how grand and big and nice that is. You know, you could eat a lot of good food at that Christmas market in Strausborg. So <laughs> if you're in Europe, I hope you get to see it and uh, check it all out. I'm going to put a link to that. You can learn some English from there. And... So if you get time and get a little urge to eat a little bit, maybe uh, you can take a look at that. So moving on from travel to the daily infographic, the infographic of the day, why exercise makes you happy. Okay, fit and fun. To be fit is to be in good shape. The link between exercise and happiness. So if you work out, so the mood benefits of just 20 minutes of exercise can last 12 hours, according to researchers at the University of Vermont. So 20 minutes a day can last 12 hours. So you really, you know, sometimes it's hard, but we definitely want to... Um, <laughs> exercise it gets rid of things like stress it uh, gives us brain chemicals it makes our brain feel good no more stress gets rid of depression and if you do more 30 to 60 minutes three to five days a week you get mental health benefits okay Mood is how you feel, so it's just great for the mood. Uh, don't just focus on cardio. So if you lift weights, you know, um, strength training, they call it strength training. It's even better. And there's a sweet spot, meaning that, you know, there's a good balance. Um, you know, not too much exercise and not too little. Doing it outside is even better for you. So get out, get some fresh air. Group walks. You know how you can do it. You can meet people. There's some ways to meet people when you exercise. Okay. Have some goals. Goals are uh, like uh, objectives or things that you want to get towards. Make sure you have fun, you know, and less work. And, uh, you know, music makes exercise way more fun. So get some music if you can. Uh, you know, it's, it's good for, uh, you know, sex and other fun things in this world. <laughs> and, you know, try to find ways for motivation, a way for you to get it. So, I, you know, I think we kind of know that, that... Uh, exercise being fit and fun is going to make you a lot happier you know in your life and stuff so that's a great infographic i'm going to put there you can check on out um you know we all can use a little motivation for when we uh you know to get some exercise going so you know why exercise makes you happy all right, now our photo of the day. This is pretty cool one from the sky. And what it was is kayakers navigate, so to go kayaking, in southwestern France. He was doing what we call an aerial image, you know, from the sky on an ultralight motorized plane. So this comes from the sky on a plane. 
you can see these these are kayakers here and it looks like an eye you know the iris of an eye you know the photo of the day double vision i will uh add under the video too you can check that out uh, national geographic always has some beautiful photos to you know take a look at that so photo of the day from the national geographic and you know the merriam webster dictionary has the learner's word of the day and for today it's ceramic ceramic, ceramic. so ceramic and ceramic is a type of material usually to make pots and bowls like a ceramic bead or bowl ceramic tiles made of clay that has been heated to a very high temperature so that it becomes hard so this is hard clay and if you're not sure what clay is let me just show you this is clay we make pots from them you know we do a lot of pottery so this is clay from the soil and when you make it hard you can make pots ceramic ceramic pots and stuff so that's our word for the day so let me take a look see if we have any questions uh, looks like not so much nothing on my skype um if you have anything, uh, I'll be here for the next couple minutes. So on Skype, I'll type in my um, number. If you have questions during this broadcast, feel free to call me. It's dclawson underscore two on Skype. Oops. <laughs> There's Skype. And while we're doing that, I will set up next week's show. So I'll. Uh, a new live event I'll put on and I'll type it learn English from the best activities of the week like movies music and more I'm gonna make it for today's the 21st I'll make it for the 28th at 8 a.m. Um, I'll make it public. I'll hit create event. And then if you click on it, you can check it out. You can see that six hours, 23 minutes, and uh, 23 hours, 32 minutes, and 25 seconds to check it out. Um, I post updates on my on my Facebook account. You can check out it. Learn English quickly. Let me log in here. And so I put that in. Click post. I will pin that to the top. Oops, that didn't go the way I want. Let's see, pin to top. And so you can then check it out. That'll be for next week. If you click on it, then it'll do its countdown so you can check out when the time is. So I'm gonna look. Um, so I think everybody, they don't have any questions. So it looks like um, let me put in my um, Facebook account. They can check that out themselves. It's at Learn English Quickly or English Quickly at Facebook. You can type in. So I don't see any questions. So let me end the screen here. All right. So um, that was a fun week. Uh, 
I may go check out that movie, Horrible Bosses 2. I like comedies. They're fun to watch. And uh, I will be doing this again next week. So um, thanks so much for your time. And I wish you the best of luck learning English. And you can also check out my website. Let me show it here. English-quickly.com. And I wish you all Merry Christmas. And we will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.